and the aircraft maintenance, uh, the bar, and you, you know, using using the tester in the aircraft maintenance industry for maintaining airplanes and aircraft because the turnaround time must be so fast. Now, the mag probe solenoid valve and relay tester creates a rapid turnaround time when troubleshooting commercial aircraft, increasing safety by detecting any residual magnetism within any solenoid fuel valves, which I think would be really important because uh, what I understand is if, if a fuel valve gets magnetized, you could actually jeopardize uh, and compromise people's lives. Is that possible? Yeah, it is. Well, what we have, and we had a customer call us, and he said that uh, he had a valve that was, uh, he thought was, mal was a malfunctioning. It was malfunctioning in the equipment, so he removed it. But he called me, and he said, look, this valve, I'm still getting reading with a mag probe, and I have it on the bench. I said, well, disconnect the power. And he said, I did. There's no power connected to it. It's wow. sitting by itself with no wires, wow. and I'm getting a reading. I said, well, what happened? He said, well, I've called you to ask you about it. I said, well, change the valve. He said, well, I did. And with another new valve we checked, didn't have that indication of a magnetic field on the bench, and we installed it, and it worked. So that told me that what had happened in the core of it, there's a little rod that goes through the solenoid valve that's activated to move up or down right. to open and close the valve. Right. Now, if it isn't completely demagnetized, it can be floating. In other words, if you're in rough air, say in an aircraft, and that valve is floating around there, it's not completely off, uh, it's possible that that rod can move. And if it does... If it's in the fuel system, it's a, it's a big problem. But there are other applications on the, in the aircraft that use these little valves, too, to control the uh, movement of the, of the uh, control surfaces. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, every single valve that's installed on an aircraft should be tested on the bench before it's installed. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I know that all the people flying appreciate that.